What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I had actually vlogged very little footage for today, but I knew that I was gonna go grocery shopping, so I figured for Vlogmas Day 6, I would just make it a grocery haul. I got a ton of questions when I put up my what I eat in a day video of kind of how I pick my groceries or how to pick out healthy groceries, so I figured I would show you guys what I got. Forewarning, it is a lot of stuff, so I apologize. I will try and make it as brief as possible and just jump to the point. Here we go. I went to Whole Foods for my grocery shopping. I either go to Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, and the reason is is that I feel like they just have fresher products. Probably makes the most sense to kind of go in order when it comes to like breads, fruits, veggies, meats, drinks, all that stuff. Forgive me if it's a little out of order. We're gonna start with beverages. I got more beverages than what should actually be legal for somebody that lives at home alone, but to be fair, I tear through this stuff really quickly. Okay, here we go. Calafia cold brew coffee in mocha flavor. Yes, this does have cal caffeine in it. I've actually been slowly reintroducing caffeine into my life. For those of you who are regular viewers, you know that I've been avoiding caffeine, but with time, it is actually really helping me throughout the day. I'm not forming any type of caffeine addiction, but it has been really nice to have something like this that's light, has some nice flavor, tastes delicious, and comes in a big old bottle for me to have with protein shakes or by itself. I also got the Califia cold brew coffee in the XX Espresso. I tried this once before in like a tiny sample size just to drink in the morning and it was really, really, really delicious. And the calories are great on these things, like 80 calories, 90 calories max. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> oh God, I hate myself. Yeah, so I also have here the Califia Farms Holiday Nog Almond Milk Edition. I've never seen this one before, but it was just so festive and in my face. I'll probably do a taste test at some point in a vlog to see how it tastes because eggnog is supposed to be like high in fat and all that, so, but it's not eggnog, it's just nog. It's vegan, so I don't know. We'll see how this tastes. I'm very excited about it. Moving on to veggies and fruits. Got quite a few of that. I always get the organic cut cauliflower, broccoli, and carrot packages. And yeah, I guess I could just buy them fresh and cut them up, but if it's organic and chopped for me, I don't mind spending the extra buck or two. It really doesn't make a difference in my opinion. They're not cooked or anything. What I plan to do is either steam these or spray a pan, like a like a little cookie sheet, and put some aluminum foil on it, spray it with the Pam olive oil spray, and then season it with salt. And it makes it taste delicious, just like baked veggies with your meat and your rice, and it's perfect. So that is that. My absolute favorite blend of like fresh, green leaves is the 50-50 blend, which is just baby spinach and spring mix. I normally put a salad on the side of my lunch and dinner, so that is where these guys come in. I got two of these, because I tear through these pretty quickly. You can imagine like three to four cups a day, you kind of go through them fast. To support my handy dandy salads, I decided to get some sweet grape tomatoes. I used to love cherry tomatoes, and I kind of just stopped, but I figured why not try them again, so I'm just going to be chopping these up and adding them to my salad to make it even more salad-y and pretty and delicious. And for the last of my veggies, I'll just throw them all side to side. I don't, avocado is not a vegetable. I think it's technically considered a fruit, but I did get three aguacate. I did get three avocados because I love eating this on the side of basically everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, bagels, eggs, sandwiches, all of it. Some nice healthy fats. Then I got two zucchinis. I only really ever have zucchini with scrambled eggs because it's really easy to just like mix in there and then it just adds more volume to the breakfast and makes it really delicious and you're eating your greens. So I got two organic zucchini in here. And then another courtesy of Omar, I got three limes. One time when I was feeling really sick, he actually uh, got me some lime and cut it in half and then squeezed it in water and it tasted so freaking delicious. So I decided again, since I am upping the intake in water, I thought it would be nice to add a lime in the morning just to quickly like down it, get some nice little taste buds going on. And to support my water intake, I got the clean canteen water bottle. I got some bananas. You can never go wrong with bananas. They're very high in potassium and help with muscle cramping and they just taste great. They are from Ecuador. Very groovy. Next, we're going to move on to my poultry. I decided to kind of take the easy road, I guess, when it came to my meat, because when I cook chicken for myself, I do the most basic stuff. I put it in a little glass thing, spray the Pam olive oil spray, and put garlic, salt, pepper. Like, that. that's all I do. So I figured it'd be nice to try out some that are already seasoned, and the macros actually stay really good, potentially higher carb, but again, 
lean bulk and don't mind. So Whole Foods had this awesome selection of different types of seasonings and like flavors and stuff. So I got two chicken breasts that are in black pepper flavor. And then I got the spicy cilantro flavor, which I think is gonna taste freaking amazing because I love cilantro so much. And then I got this garlic and herb chicken breast. And then the last one just looks really good, but I have no idea what it is. Yakiniku, yakiniku flavor. This is the first one I saw and I'm like, whoa. Those are the chicken breasts that I got and pretty much stocked for the rest of my life. Moving on to carbs because we all love carbs. I've been eating bagels every single morning for breakfast with a protein shake because my appetite is quite small in the morning. So I just got some plain bagels, family owned natural ingredients from Whole Foods. I'm not really picky with bagels. As long as it's a bagel, I'm pretty happy. So I got that and then I decided to get some classic English muffins because I feel like if there is a morning that I am craving like an actual breakfast then I can make a poached egg and put it on this and like add avocado and then the last for my bread I got my usual Dave's killer bread I'm sorry Omar always says it like that and by always I mean he said it like that once and now I feel like obligated to say it in that tone too I got the power seed it's supposed to be like USDA approved and there's tons of fiber and a bunch of like whole grains and omega-3s and all that. So you guessed right, I was just reading what was on here. I just really like the way it tastes. To pair with the bread, I got some of the honey roasted peanut butter from Whole Foods. This is like, they have it in a little machine and then you press a button and it goes into this container. It is so good. I normally would only ever have like Skippy or Jif creamy peanut butter, but after you have like all natural, honey roasted, freaking kind of crunchy, like I could eat spoonfuls of this by itself, but I'm gonna contain myself. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it on my bread and eat it that way. Also got some croutons to add to a salad. Should have mentioned that a long time ago, but I got them. And as a nice snack to have like midday when I'm just feeling like munching on something, I got some boom chicka pop. 35 calories per cup, lightly sweetened popcorn. I've never actually tried this before, but I'm trying to stray away from eating a lot of chips like Doritos and Hot Cheetos and all those which are like my guilty pleasure. And I figured doing something like this would make me feel a little better. Having this or like Trader Joe's plantain chips I feel is a really great alternative if you're trying to like slowly wean off a very unhealthy addiction to uh, Doritos and Hot Cheetos. And then the very last things I got were the Think Thin High Protein Bars. My best friend Diamond is always eating these bars. I'm pretty sure, I could honestly be wrong, but Diamond, if you're watching this, these are the bars that you always get, right? Got it in cookies and cream and white chocolate. Figured it'd be nice for if I'm on the go, won't have time to make lunch or something like that. Just can't ever really go wrong with them. And I've heard a lot of great things about these, not just from Diamond, but just in general. So the macros are eight grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. And then last thing is some organic sesame juice ginger dressing. I officially feel like I'm dying. I'm so hungry. Oh my God, and I gotta put this all away. Okay guys, so that concludes this essential, healthy, lean bulk grocery haul, and it concludes Vlogmas day six. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more grocery hauls, make sure to like the video, but this is pretty much the essentials. This is what I get on a regular basis. These are my essentials. Go ahead and comment down below some of your favorite essentials if you want to, it might help some other people, it might even help me, just saying. So I love you guys very much. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Vlogmas day seven. What? Seven. Peace out.